This method only works on Windows 8 or Windows 10. It does not work on console, mobile, or Mac. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your game. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go to Task Manager. To do this, you're going to right click on your taskbar and press on Task Manager. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to go to Details and you're going to see where it says Fortnite Client. It's gonna be the one that has a number here. If it's a zero, it's the wrong one. It'll have a large number in the millions, most likely here. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna right click on that, go to Set Priority. If you set it to above normal, that'll improve it slightly. If you set it to high, that's gonna improve it a lot. That's how I usually have it. And if you set it to real time, it's gonna make your game a lot better, but it is going to make everything else on your computer extremely slow. And it may make it difficult to try and record in the background or listen to music in the background or do other things. So I'm gonna put mine on high. And it's gonna say, do you wanna change the priority of Fortnite client, Windows 64, shipping.exe? Changing the priority of certain processes could cause system instability. And that's basically what I was saying. It could make stuff in the background uh, a little less fast because it's putting the CPU priority on Fortnite instead of your other stuff running in the background. So that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change the priority, set it to high. As you guys can see now up at the top right there, it does say that the minimum frames are staying at about 160. Every once in a while there's like a stutter and it goes down because season 10 micro stutters.